Today, we're going to review the different types of suture material you may encounter in the operating room. The way I like to organize suture material is into two main categories. The first is monofilament versus braided, and the second is absorbable versus non-absorbable. As you can see, I have the suture material organized according to these categories. Monofilament suture is a single-stranded filament suture, so just think of a long string of thin plastic. It can be really slick, so you have to be extra careful that your knots are secure in order to prevent knot unraveling. Monofilament suture includes monocryl, PBS, proline, and nylon, which you may hear referenced as ethylon. Braided suture is composed of multiple filaments woven together, so think just like rope. Braided suture isn't as slick, so knots are less likely to unravel. And our braided suture includes vicryl and silk. Some suture is non-absorbable, meaning it will remain just like you left it in the body forever, and this includes nylon, proline, and silk. However, some stitches will resorb, and these include monocryl, vicryl, and PDS. Suture can come in a variety of sizes, and the larger the number, the smaller the diameter of the suture. For example, O suture is the thickest, while 7 O suture is about as fine as your hair. Lastly, there are different types of needles, and these can be added to just about any suture type or size. They come in a variety of sizes and curves, and a good trick to learning the different types of needles is to look at the outside packaging of the suture. The picture of the needle will be included on the outside and will show you the relative size and curve of the needle. Additionally, needles may be cut in different ways, which is represented by this image here. Now this image is a representation of what it would look like if you were staring down the length of the needle. There are tapered, cutting, and reverse cutting, just to name a few. Spend some time perusing the suture carts in the operating room you're rotating through and familiarize yourself with the different types of suture materials.